Welcome to Jackal DIY in Tech. Do you know what this is? If you say it's a flashlight, you are correct. But at the moment, this is just a waste. Because it does not work. Now, admittedly, I already took it apart, so that is why it doesn't work. But it also didn't work previously. And the issue being the LED. So this one takes four AAA batteries. And we'll take a look at the voltage. Set this to DC volts. And let's see what we have. So four batteries at maximum provide six volts. But this also depends how they are connected. So in this case we have 5.47 volts. Which means that the batteries are connected in series. And this battery pack lost about 0.5 volts in total. Not to prevent this from ending in a landfill, this one does luckily unscrew, but the screw is quite long. So if you have a flashlight that is dead and it uses an LED, you may be also able to fix it. Now this lens is just plastic, so this all just pushes out. This whole piece is now made from aluminium or some kind of an alloy. And this is the best that I could do to get it out. I can't get this PCB out, but in the front I did manage to take this plastic cover off, which hides the LED. So on the top we have the LED, we have the positive and the negative wire. The positive comes through this spring, which is on the top. As for the negative, it comes through this. And then it is transferred through the housing. So basically the negative connects to here. If you would want to do a test, you could simply connect it like so. Connect the wire from here to here and this LED should light up, but it does not. Now the LEDs that I found are these. I will also leave a link to them down below in case you need them. And hopefully I'll be able to make this work. Now in this case the LED is big enough. So I can just put it to the wires, but I can also use these pads. So I don't mess with the wires. How we can check which pad goes where, we can use the multimeter, put it on the continuous so it beeps. We can then connect one pad and then just go around in the circle so we can see what is connected. In this case, nothing of the plus is connected and these three pads are connected. And the same goes with the plus. These three pads are connected, but they don't connect with the minus. They should though connect with the spring, which is what they do, and the minus should connect to the housing, which is also what it does. So I will take this LED off, maybe put something beneath it, put this one on, on the feet you do see a plus and a minus, though that is really tiny and I doubt that my camera can pick this up. Maybe can this one pick it up? So anyway, the feet have a plus and a minus engraved inside. So that is how you have to connect it. Now to do this job, you will need a soldering iron. A simple one will do. You need some flux and maybe some pincers so you can hold the LED when you detach it. Now I'll just use the lamp to hold this in place for now so I can hopefully desolder the LED and this is just a heat sink as you can see it has some thermal paste on the bottom so that the LED can get cooled. I have some movement so I just remove the top of the LED not exactly what I wanted I still need to remove the pad or the LED itself that is just the plastic dome that spreads the light 
it also doesn't help that this aluminium is a heat sink so you need a lot of heat to actually remove this PCB or the LED maybe also use some goggles when you do this I think that should do it now I'll just test if I have any kind of connections underneath if I do I'll have to put something between that so this LED doesn't short it out because on the bottom it has a huge heatsink as you can see the contacts here are a little bit too close so these two contacts the plus and the minus are a little bit too close and this LED can just go over them and this LED could short them I will have to cover those up I will use a piece of office tape but you should use an electrical tape if you have it cover the negative and cover the positive just for a good measure I'll put some thermo paste on on the middle so it will hopefully make a good contact which will help spread the heat and now all I have to do is position it so the plus will go to the plus and the minus on the minus and I'll hold it down as best as I can while I solder it so it doesn't stick up so because the heatsink is big and I'm pushing down this is also acting as a heatsink so that one I'll hold just have to do the negative one and I'll hold it down for a little bit so it sticks on the pad on this PCB so I think this one will also be okay but I'll see once I let it go looks okay I can now do a test so I'll put this like so and it will be super bright so I'll just put it away from me so I don't look at it and connect the negative to the housing and we have life so now I just have to put this together make a hole into this plastic piece because now this will be a lot bigger well actually the LED fits inside so I'll see if it just fits all the way in otherwise I will need to make a cut and I'll put some paste on this heatsink as well this is just a cheap paste GD900 but it's supposedly good for all kinds of electronics and even PCs so if you need to use it on GPUs and CPUs it's also good and I have done so previously and I didn't have any issue with it and best of all it's also cheap so this goes in like so and see if this cover fits it does not it will not go in but it needs to go in so it holds this down so I need to increase the hole so the whole LED goes in how will I do that well let's see if this exacto knife will be up to the task so I can cut the plastic with this exacto knife but it won't be a fast job so I'll come back once I have this done so I managed to put this in and now I can assemble it so this will go in just push it in then we have the lens screw this on Then screw this body part on, just like that. I can now make adjustment, not all the way to the end, because the lens dome is hitting this lens, but that's okay. Now I'll just have to put the batteries in, screw the cap on, 
and we have light. And now this LED works. As you can see, I can also make the adjustment. And if this LED ever goes bad, I still have none of them left to replace the one inside. And instead of this landing in the landfill, only this will go to waste.